It's a bitch conversation. Goodbye. Why must I be thinking? I just want a brain to be empty for once. And full of many thoughts. Low concept science fiction. What if there was space? Fake, no there isn't. Why are you feeding the population lies? You're responsible for the downfall of society. Behold, Rudy time. I wish it was Rudy time all the time. Look at that face. P.M. Seymour is like the Thomas Sanders back in the day. If you say their name, they'll just appear with half a burrito in hand like, What's up? Hey, yo, where's the other half of my burrito? Who did it? I'm body positive. I got the results back today and they confirm I do have a body. My condolences. Finally finished teaching orangutans agriculture. Now I'm off to teach dolphins how to war. Ants already know both of those things. Who do you think taught me? Hey, why is it? Why is it a Dark Souls 2 boss? That's what you're questioning. Hey, do they have hummus in France? Um, France isn't real. Can't trick me. GTFO? Opie must have been down with the sickness when they wrote this. Charlotte, are you okay? <laughs> Ooh, uh, God told me to embezzle these funds, guys. It's okay. It's okay. You know, reanimating corpses for use in battle is unethical. I am recycling. Well, now someone has to go and fight the corpses. I am also, consequently, creating jobs. You laugh, but some necromancer is out there setting up a PowerPoint presentation. Witnessed Crypt Rat from Old School RuneScape. You're telling me this guy's voicing Mario? It's a me, a Mario. Writing prompt. All your life, mythological beings have tried to pick you up. Childhood, forced adoption. Teenagehood slash adulthood, marriage. For example, Selkies purposely left their skins where you'd find them. Banshees serenade you outside every night. Now at 30, you've learned why you attract them all. What a thrilling life for me. Me, Rasputin, Russia's greatest love machine. This is partially fucked up. Probably bad RPG idea. The players are all told to create mid-level druids with animal companions. After creating their characters, have all of the druids be kidnapped and the players must rescue them as their animal companion. OP, change your URL! Do it! Oh, fuck. God damn it. I hate being the main character in a Snickers commercial. Stomping around grumpily furious and everything. Why on earth could this be happening? Remembers I haven't eaten all day. Ah, fuck. God damn it. I'm not, I'm not me. I'm not me when I'm hungry. <laughs> Eat a Snickers. Can you imagine these, this, like, in a Persona saying, wouldn't that be hilarious? Like, you're not me! You're right, you know what, you're right. Here's a Snickers, Yosuke, my bad. What's that noise? Sounds like a graveyard smash. I'm going to check. <gasps> the monsters. I think they were. No. It couldn't be. Okay, but see, now that Halloween is over, now it's time to gather the masses. Not for another holiday, no. But for preparation for next Halloween. Gather, let's go. When you're tired on a public transit and start thinking, let me rest my eyes just a little bit. That's the devil talking. She is very persuasive. Where am I? This is a area. Fuck, dude, it sure is. There's a post going around about mixing NyQuil with five-hour energy, and I'm thinking about the time my parents were both out of town, and my brother was in charge of dropping me off at school. And I must have been like 15 or 16, and I was really miserably sick, so he gave me NyQuil, but by the time we were pulling up to the school, I was crashing, so his friend who was driving said, Yeah, I have a Red Bull in the glove compartment. Drink it. It'll, like, even it out. So I did. And I walked into school at 7.30 a.m., and then immediately the last bell rang and school was over. Potion seller, I'm going to school and I need your strongest disassociation. Mm. You can't handle my disassociation. Four word horror story. Furby pelt carpeted shower. Furby pelt carpeted toilet. Furby pelt carpeted septic tank. Happy Halloween, everybody. No, you fucking, you come back here and you answer for your crimes. Wait, holy shit. Is that pants? Me finally finding clothes in the soup store after years of searching. Wasn't this literally Jeremy at the hospital when he sees his dad? What are you two fucking talking about? This post is about Sonic the Hedgehog. I have several questions. Real horse facts. They call it a horse because that's what animal it is. Wow. Is three fingers too much? Not at all. Most people have ten. 
And if you thought of something else, you have to like, comment, and subscribe, you sinner. You know something? You disgust me. <laughs> I know what people like you get up to, and I think it's disgusting. Please don't hesitate to tell me if I ever need to put a trigger content warning on any of my stuff. I'm not insensitive. I'm just stupid. Y'all like, I want to die, like a broken record, but a bunch of clowns come over wanting to kill you, and you're all shooting your pants. Mm-mm-mm. Hypocrites you are. The day I let fucking Bozo stab me to death is the day I die, pal. Well, yeah, that's kind of how, like, being stabbed to death works. Literally any continuity error that involves Spock can be explained away by the fact that he is a liar. I mean, Vulcans never lie? Never. Spock lied. People wanting Tumblr clout is so funny to me. Like, girl, you're fighting for a window seat in the clown car. Do you want that? Gaslight gatekeeper girl boss? That's a bit too complicated for me. Instead, consider my set of rules. Tax evasion. That's, that's it. That's my set of rules. Remember when Santa ran over grandma? It was like so messed up, right? Don't care, didn't ask. Plus your wizard cap is cheaply made whilst mine is for fine silk. Coco, what do your cat eyes see? <sighs> Post email aftercare, like, that was a great email and you seem so normal. Have a cake, you deserved it. Supervillains that get all their supervillain accessories from Hot Topic, plus superheroes who also shop at Hot Topic and know full well that supervillain gets all their supervillain accessories from Hot Topic. Once again, and I reiterate, did you mean critically acclaimed masterpiece Megamind? And you put his picture up now? Thank you. There will be blood? Like, promise? It, yeah, man, we got blood every day over here. Sure do, but shoot. Men want me. <laughs> Wait, hold on. <laughs> Women want me. Men fear me. I don't associate with fish. Women want, men fear. I don't fish. Women fear me. Men fear me. I want fish. Men fear fish women. Me, me. Diversity win. Your friend survived a lab accident and is now something distinctly non-human. <laughs> Oopsies. She wouldn't stop biting me, so I got her this hat. You fool. You have only made her stronger. I feel like no one really wants to hear that sleep, exercise, nutrition, hydration are major factors in treating mental health issues because we've all talked to that one person who thinks your depression would be cured by one good session of goat yoga or whatever, but unfortunately they do help and I'm critically annoyed about it because why is it that just I'm sad because my brain is telling me to go drink water like the dumb fish I am? Oh, Shnam, I have no bones. Is that a violation? Are you supposed to have bones? Probably. Being kissed wouldn't fix me, but it would be nice. True. The ram is wise. Would you like some of the ram's wisdom? Uh, y yes, I would. Nougat is to sugar what bread is to flour. Uh, thanks, I hate it. E102, delete this whack-ass Tumblr. You know, I wasn't going to answer any more your ass, but I fucking love the cadence and wording here. It's like you're a presidential candidate. Delete this whack-ass Tumblr now. Just delete this whack-ass Tumblr now. Mr. Gorbachev. Delete this whack ass Tumblr. Hate having hyperfixation, and sometimes because I'll see someone being a bit hostile towards it, and I'll start to feel nauseous, and my heart is breaking at peace, and then dies a million deaths over and over for an extended period of time. Like that sad SpongeBob gif. Oh my god, somebody get so transsexual Sonic right now, please! I'm going to start using verbs and nouns that don't exist, and you can't stop me. Unless you have a grungler, but nobody else here has a grungler, so you still can't stop me. <laughs> Body parts that need regular moisturizing are literally so fucking stupid. Like, my brother in Christ. We're 60% water. I didn't have my bones for skeleton war. Whomever stole my bones, you suck! Who the fuck invented edible arrangements? Who got a flower arrangement and immediately was like, Fuck this, I can't even eat it! First of all, ungrateful. Second of all, eat it, you coward. Where to you have you paying 2K rent, Lamau? I'm not even making that much. <clears throat> Wait, why does it only have one head? Er, you fucking with me? <sighs> Caramel Danson turns 20 this year, and frankly, I am not prepared for that. Well, this post is now over a year old. Let's see how the notes are. What the fuck? He's your emotional support, Blarbo? Girl, he can't even emotionally support himself. Hey, hey, leave Scaramouche out of this.
I do not have commitment issues. I'll have you know I've committed three whole crimes just this morning. Reasons why I don't like starting conversations first. I feel annoying. I feel like you might not want to talk. I feel unwanted when you don't reply. And it normally turns awkward and fades out. However, if you talk to me first and make attempts to keep conversation going, you are a holy being in my mind. I have never had anything be more accurate in my life. I think take a hike is like the funniest response to someone. Like, though, just get out of here and go, out, go experience the wonder of nature for a bit. The ancestral form of touch grass. I noticed my coworker was on Tumblr, so I told them, I like your shoelaces. And they said, never say that out loud to me. This is the correct response, by the way. Life hacks. Need to clean your house? Get a new cat. The sound of it chewing on random debris will provide constant motivation to clean and reorganize your space. Life hacks. Behold, the cosmic current. It looks like sugar. I'm a lick it. Don't do it. Today I learned a philosophy riddle from 1688 was recently solved. If a man born blind can feel the differences between shapes such as spheres and cubes, could he, if given the ability, distinguish those objects by sight alone? In 2003, five people had their sight restored through surgery, and no, they could not. I love when apparently deep questions turn out to have a clear, empirical answer. It's great, right? The peak of sonic characterization is a perfect balance between two facts. One, Sonic is the chosen hero of Mobius, the harbinger of chaos, the wielder of the power of gods, fated to fight the forces of evil since the day he was born. And two, Sonic is just some guy who showed up one day. He just showed up and the powers that be picked him up by the scruff of his neck and went, This one, he's funny. I'll give you two prime examples of the situation. Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Sonic and Shadow are two people that were under the same prophecy. Sonic was actually chosen by fate under that prophecy, and Shadow was created by the people who saw that prophecy and were like, I bet I could make that. Okay, Robotnik's grandfather. And then the other example, Sonic and the Black Knight. Merlin just needed some help in a crisis, and the first person she summoned into existence... It, it was Sonic. He just shows up. It's great. Here's a hot freaking take, guys, but nobody gets to tell anybody else how they experience themselves. Somebody has a gender you don't understand? Well, fucking tough. That's how stuff works sometimes. I don't understand French, but the language still exists. This is quite possibly the best thing I've read all year. I'm going to start slapping bigots in the face with this. Hey, do you know why mages sometimes get knives in RPGs? It's for their special trick, Abracastab ya! Why do they sometimes get whips then? Their second spell. Alec Crixam! Well, what do mages learn when they get a gun? Gun. Andy, if you can get Amy to voice that, it'd be ideal. If not, totally fine. These are officially the ugliest fucking sneakers I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Wear these and you'll never be late for elf practice again. Why weren't you at elf practice? Someone stole my Yeezys! Day one of the time loop. 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 You're laughing. OP is stuck in a time loop and you're laughing! Tonight we're drinking from the pond! God? Yeah. yeah, yeah. List of gender neutral terms for your non binary siblings. Number one. Fucking loser! How fucking dare you, wizard email? Andy, vaporize that wizard! Fire the laser! People who don't wear glasses don't get the added benefit of taking off your HD eyesight for a while. Just fuck it, I'm done. 2040p vision time. I've seen enough. Lower the quality. You know what? Fuck you. Un-PM's your Seymour. Well, shit. I'm just Seymour. <laughs> Well, that was a terrible mistake you made. L plus ratio plus I'm a better clown than you plus your jest is weak! Tumblr is just talking to yourself before an audience. Yeah, that's called a soliloquy. Found the theater kid. Get him, boys. How do you know what a soliloquy is unless you're a theater kid, OP? Oh, shit, no! When the restaurant gives you a freebie, but you can't eat it, so you have to give it to the neighbors. <sighs> Free garlic. Bread. Just celiac things. Sad ace noises. Also vampire problems. Some of you are miserable because you're mean. 
Like you're just mean to people and things. Why don't I have any friends? Because you're mean. This can be fixed in part very easily though. Just stop being mean. I believe in all of you, you got it. Compels you to experience emotions which you lack the vocabulary to describe. Oh God, this is so, well, I can't say. I still don't understand people find it weird to bag milk. I don't want a career. I want to do crafts. I want to make origami. What if I changed my icon? <laughs> Not too drastic. So I've been reblogged by PM Seymour twice now, but eh, still haven't seen any of my delicious puns in a video. I'm not shy. I have a well-nurtured god complex. I don't fear the notes, so why? Why deprive the world of my genius? All right, show your shot. Give me a pun right now. Okay, proper puns. The expectations are high. <clears throat> well, while some may see it as a punishment, I'm excited to say more of uh, this development. As always. I'll be ready for your next query. I'm very proud of you. Congratulations. Steve from Blue's Clues holds the honor and bears the curse of being many, many young children's first parasocial relationship. Oh my God. It all makes sense now. I did it. I read 200 pages in three hours. I was very behind. It's 12 a.m. <laughs> Bees. Bees? Bees. 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 Bees! Bees! Best type of character causes at least 50% of their own problems and then cries about it. Oh, baby girl, please. Step one, we recommend you to be two people for easier assembly. On it, boss. Step one, mitosis. So tired of people acting like fat men aren't attractive. It's scientifically wrong. Fat men are a gift to society and I need y'all to start acting like it. Just do it. What happened to the skeleton war? You guys used to love the skeleton war. It's because we've been fighting it for so long. We don't remember what we're fighting it for. Sad, yeah. Apparently I'm in a PM Seymour video? Which one? This one! Apollo, kill me now! <laughs> you gotta admit, that one's pretty good. Watching a Marvel movie is like eating a perfectly acceptable hand sandwich, but then when you finish it, a slice of tomato walks through the door and the music swells dramatically. Why does that work so well? Nothing scares me more than knowing my posts show up in people's based on your likes shit. Please, I'm so scared. Don't bring me to the ocean surface. I'll depressurize and start oozing. Behold, Peachy Siana. Where's fucking Mario and Luigi? Who's Mario? I know Luigi, but like, Mario? Is that like a Luigi, I see? No, they mean that guy from Marvel. Crypt Rat or something, I don't know. Okay, you know sometimes fans add a sibling or family member, but it's actually a self-insert. Breaking news! I just learned about a bird species called Golden Plover. Their chicks have an amazing camouflage. Their baby fluff resembles moss. Look at them. Just look at them. Oh, to be a tiny golden plover lying in the moss safe and sound waiting for your mom to bring you some worms. Okay, you see right there, right there? That's a Pokemon. Reblog to give the person you reblogged it from the energy to do one chore. Or maybe many. Well, now it's in a video that I just give this person so much energy, they're literally a god. Your Honor, permission to be a little shilly? Hmm. Granted. Reverse isekai. But instead of fantasy characters being transported to a modern world, they're transported to the Wild West. I call it re-intonation. Fucking give me this show, goddammit. Bucky, how many Twitter babies are going to grovel and plead for help? I am Tumblr's first line of defense between Twitter users and aged Tumblr users. Dare I release the floodgates on you? God bless you, Bucky. Hold the door. One of my favorite stupid tropes is X is literally a ridiculous number of Y in a trench coat. Like, sure, this one guy has been looking shady is really just 235 sewer rats in a trench coat. Why not? That's hilarious. Do you guys remember when Bojack actually had the, the three kids in the trench coat and, like, we never actually got the conclusion that they were busted on it? They just rolled with it for the entire season? <laughs> okay, fuck it. If this post reached 666,000 notes by the end of 2023, I'll practice basic self-care. Why 666,000? Because it's funny and impossible, so good fucking luck. Sure about that, punk?
Mom. Come see Puppy. He's looking for you inside when he couldn't see you. Oh my god! Fucking emergency! I gotta go, guys! Bye! They should invent a spine without pain. Probably also knees. Maybe feet if we're getting fancy. I'm only asking for so much! There should be a social media site. Ted, just kidding. There should never be one of those. Never. Y'all been calling her brisket so much that Bridget has legitimately started to read as incorrect to me. And frankly, this is not a tenable state of affairs. Bisquick is my favorite character in Guilty Gear Strive. Don't you mean Guilty Gear Striv? I wish Genshin gave you the option to replay story quests, because God, I want to do Leeway again. Seriously. Not to bash the game. Leeway is like one of the best parts about Genshin. Sumer is great. Sumer is great. But Leeway? Chef's kiss. Hey, ever think about us being more than friends? <gasps> yes! I can totally see us as dragons. Here, let me find the designs I drew. I don't understand, Sonic. Why didn't he just use his skills of being fast to hurt Eggman until he dies? Hedgehogs have no understanding of the concept of death, so the thought of killing Eggman never occurs to him. Catholic guilt. Guys, at my university, I have a part-time job where my sole responsibility is filling up the piano humidification systems with water. I literally am the piano waterer, and to be honest, I kind of feel like I'm thriving. I feel like I need to add that I carry around this water jug that kind of looks like a regular watering can, and when people ask me what I'm doing, I just say, watering the pianos, and walk away. This is probably a symptom of something, but I'm just going to call it a Kenny moment. Just saying. So much of what is cringe is just earnest. What if you made an honest expression of genuine human emotion and someone saw it? Cringe. An infinite number of $1 bills and an infinite number of $20 bills would be worth the same. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Wait. Takes I am a snob. <laughs> My mission to steal all snobs continues. Hang on. Ah, here, here it is. Boop, 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 boop. Hey, yo, who's stealing my sons? I love thinking that I'm okay, but then look at my D&D characters and realize I am definitely not. Not even close. Normalize not knowing anything about yourself. Like, who's that guy, lol? I did this today. I had a new coworker join my team, and it came time for my introduction. I was like, I watch movies and play video games. And apparently absolutely fucking nothing else of note. Welcome to the team. Yeah, I love it when pathetic podcast men panic breath into my ears. It's good shit. Writing prompt. Among the ranks of the knights, you are considered unstoppable, unbeatable, the greatest warrior to have ever lived. Your secret is that you have a unique weapon, one forged to send hails of burning lead at your foes. It's a shotgun. You carry a shotgun. Isn't this like an Evil Dead movie? And correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure this is an Evil Dead movie. Still good, time huh, Gender is not a performance. It is a competition. And I am ranking 7,570,694,201st internationally. Help! Here's a little help from someone ranked 6,151,319,272nd. Just fuck around and find out. The other judges seem to like the strange genders. Other players don't, but they're just jealous they're extra standard. Just saying. I want a shirt that has a QR code on it for some kind of horrible malware so that if anyone ever tries to film me in public, their phone will automatically scan the code and be reduced to a functionless brick. That's fucking evil. I love it. When do I feel like I'm getting told that I have a bad grade in a class when I do the depression and anxiety screening ratings with my therapist? <sighs> Gender, but the G is pronounced like the G in God. <clears throat> Gender. Nope, not screaming this time. Sorry. Part of the new internet grammar, using question marks not to denote questions, but upturns in voice, so that a tentative statement gets a question mark, but a flatly delivered question doesn't. Why would you do this? It just seems right. Imagine if movies and TV shows have mod communities like video games do. Seinfeld Big Titty Mod. Frasier Anime Girl Race Mod. Unofficial B-Movie Patch. Friends without Ross Mod. 
I don't know how you people with 100k notes post even function like I could barely handle when my 30-ish notes post break containment. We don't. You just grow numb over time like soldiers in a trench no longer flinching at the sound of rifles. Behold, albino raccoon. Quick, spot the main character. You know, it's so weird how much of a raccoon's raccoonness is tied up in its pattern. This looks like a completely different animal. Like some sort of weird marsupial. It looks like a glammed up possum. Told my parents I miss archaeology and my mom was very sympathetically like, Do you want to go dig holes in the garden? And I was like, yeah, I want to dig holes in the garden. My wife reading this to me out loud. It's your people! Do you want me to break a clay pot for you to put back together? Me burying my face in my hands. Maybe. These are both moods, but unfortunately I am primarily a bioarchaeologist. I, I specialize with digging up old human skeletons and, uh... Homemade bioarchaeology is tragically discriminated against by law enforcement. Only if you get caught. I'm pretty sure I did that one, but I like the additional part at the end, so bear with me. I'm seeing activity from blogs that have not posted in years. It's like watching permafrost melt, observing you all in my petri dish. The frogs are emerging from their slumber. Ancient viruses are emerging from the polar ice caps melting. Choose your vibe. I like how everyone's always like, oh, don't steal immortality from the gods. Oh, don't steal knowledge from the gods. Wah, wah. Don't steal golden fruits. Blah, 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 blah. And then I'm all like stealing from the gods like a boss. Whatevs, man, I'll bring fire to the motos. I don't give a shit. Watch me. Prometheus after joining Tumblr. What is this cotton ball doing outside? Uh, this is where the moon goes when it's set. Mind your business. Look at that baby. Precious. Alpha males and alpha software are very similar. Both generally unstable and lacking in quality. Oh shit. One day in an action movie, I want to see a chase scene that ends with an unexpectedly sturdy fruit stand that's just fucking totals both cars. One day we'll get its revenge. The cabbage guy from Avatar The Last Airbender wrote this. It's what he deserves! I'm in a constant battle between I am immortal, completely so, indestructible, nothing could hurt me, everything fears me. And if I keep existing, I'm going to die. Leaving the house is dangerous. Staying home is dangerous. Breathing's dangerous. God, why? My mom's cats. They're brothers. <sighs> Synchronized catting. This is called mirroring. Cats do this with each other and humans as a way of being social. <gasps> it's a copycat. Writing prompt. A magic experiment has gone wrong, and now your hair changes colors based on your emotions. This has created all sorts of awkward situations, as people can read you like a book. It sounds like that character from the hit Hatsune Miku series, uh, Hair or Pobbles. That's the one. Me gently putting my consciousness back in my body. Shh, please keep your arms and legs inside the ride at all times. All my friends are he, they stay it slow. See, I can sing the references when I need to. Just shittily. Wow, hello, you were like 90% of my For You post, thanks. I'm sorry to hear that. Here's a sea slug for your trouble. <sighs> I don't wanna touch it. I only post my content because I'm too incompetent to find the juicy posts. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Where can I find those? You gotta dig for them, V. You gotta dig for them. Or you know, just set up a Discord or they send it to you. My favorite character from Lord of the Rings. <laughs> this is the kind of shit future humans will have to take a whole ass degree for just to understand us. I can't wait to see it. The best way to end a love triangle plot line is with polyamory. Why? Why is this right? I don't. Uh, why is this right? The only reason I'm still on this godforsaken website is because God is blind to my existence, and if I commit enough sinful atrocities within the hell on earth, then maybe he'll finally see me, but as a threat against his very existence. All right, grape, calm the fuck down. How oh, shit, it's a thirst trip! Or something, I don't know, I'm asexual.